When Samantha Stapleton found out some seniors at her high school couldn't afford caps and gowns for graduation, she didn't know what to do, but she knew who would. So I went up to my mom and I just said, we need to do something about it. Like, can we, is there anything that we can do? Her mom, Melissa Feetham, just bought her son's cap and gown without thinking twice. But she knows not everyone is that lucky. You know, we've been in that spot before. We're not now, but we've been there and um, I know how it is. So it was heartbreaking to think that somebody can come up with that money. And I was just thinking about it and I was like, all my family's coming out because it's such a big milestone for these kids and I think that they all deserve to be celebrated. There were almost 20 seniors who came forward to say they couldn't afford the cap and gown required for the pomp and circumstance. At the school where former President Bush signed the No Child Left Behind Act, administrators say when it comes to walking across the stage on graduation day that no student is left behind. They find a way to make it work. This year, they're just getting some help. A lot of the times, the, the teachers and the counselors and the people who love these kids, um, you know, staff members are the ones who are taking over that responsibility. So mom and daughter took to social media and in just two days, filled the need and then some. They raised more than $1,500 and collected more than 40 caps and gowns. People hear about things and they're always willing to help and I just think that that says a lot about our community and the people who live and work in the community. It also says a lot about the kids who go to school there, about how they can teach us all a lesson or two. I'm glad that she was able to to see what speaking up, what one person speaking up can do. That's what meant the world to me was that she spoke up. In Hamilton, Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. Hamilton High School students graduate Wednesday night at Millette Hall in Oxford.